Turning to the pandemic, a new strain of the coronavirus in the U.S. could be partially resistant to existing vaccines. Two people in South Carolina tested positive for the variant, which was first discovered in South Africa. That makes 29 states where new strains of the virus have been detected. The vaccines do appear to work on the variants initially found in the U.K. and Brazil. Mola Lenghi joins us from a vaccine site in New York. Mola, good morning. Well, good morning, Anthony. Sites like this one, vaccination sites, have recently reopened after the federal government started increasing the number of doses it sends to states. But supply is still a concern, and the rollout is still going slower than many people had hoped. The need to vaccinate as many Americans as possible is more urgent than ever, as the variant of COVID-19 first identified in South Africa has now been found in the U.S. It was detected in two people from South Carolina, from separate parts of the state. There is no known travel history, and there is no known connection between the two cases. With highly contagious variants reported in at least 28 other states, officials should think carefully before relaxing COVID restrictions, warns Dr. Ashish Jha. By mid to late March, these variants to be quite common and dominant in the United States. We could see huge spikes in cases, large spikes in hospitalizations and deaths. And the slow vaccination process could make things worse. The longer we take, the more there are going to be opportunities for variants uh, that could become even more dangerous, more lethal, more contagious or just escape our vaccines altogether. So far, the currently authorized slate of vaccines remain effective on all known strains, though preliminary findings suggest they may offer reduced protection against the variant originally detected in South Africa. But the work to understand these new strains and their interactions with existing treatments is well underway. Earlier this month, we visited Dr. Dan Baru, the director of the Center for Virology and Vaccine Research in Boston. If the vaccine is not as effective on the new variant. What then? Well, fortunately, the first two vaccines that we have here in the United States uh, have proven to be highly, highly effective. In the worst case scenario, then vaccines might need to be updated. And companies are already working on those updates. Both Moderna and Pfizer are developing booster shots for the South African variant of the virus, Tony. Mola, thank you very much.